Hallelujah. 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 My hallelujah belongs to God this day. Hallelujah. I thank God this morning for this blessed day. My hallelujah belongs to God. He deserves all the praise, all the glory. Hallelujah. And all the honor because he's worthy. There is none like God today. There is none like God. He woke us up this morning again and brought us into his house. As a matter of fact, he woke us up in his word. In his word for victory, in his word for prosperity, in his word for love, in his word for hope. Amen. God did all of that all by himself. All by himself, hallelujah. On oh, this day, I come before you, oh, hallelujah, from Turning Point Christian Fellowship in Hot Springs, Arkansas, at 642 Fourth Street, amen. I'm coming to you to tell you about the goodness of God. About the goodness of God to learn of his ways, to learn of his word, to understand. Can't know that. Can't nobody, can't nobody, can't nobody do me like Jesus, amen. Can't nobody do me like Jesus. Can't nobody love me like Jesus, amen. Can't nobody kill me like Jesus, amen. Can't nobody rock me like Jesus. I, I got this excitement thing going on all, all over my mind. It's all over my heart. The praise in this house is heavy up on this day, amen. I, I got to bring a word. To you up on this day, and I'm gonna get to that word, but I'm giving honor to God first and foremost, amen. First and foremost, because He is the author and the finisher of my faith, He is my creator, He is my way maker, He is my all in all. My God, my God has done more for me than anybody ever will. He deserves my hallelujah, He deserves my praise. And for everybody else that's watching this word up on this day, if you don't know that you got a reason to praise God, you better ask somebody, amen. You better ask somebody because without God, we could do nothing, amen. I want to thank God, oh hallelujah, for my turning point family. I have such an amazing, amazing turning point family. I have an amazing church family, ministry family. God has blessed me with all spiritual blessings from on high. From on high, God is a good God. He's a good God. Hallelujah. All I do is just think about praising my father because he has done a great and a mighty work through my family, through his word. His word is real and his word is true and his word works. It works. Apostle Benny and Jackie McKinney of Atlanta, Georgia, of Mary Ellen, Georgia, excuse me. I, I, I don't put my bread in my boasted me. I put it in God. Amen. See, and God said, no, those that labor amongst you, amen. And when he said, no, those that labor amongst you, they love me. Yes. They love the ministry. They love the church. They love God. They love his word. Amen. Hallelujah. They love, you hear what I'm saying? The, the, the leaders that he has blessed us with. We, we not only hear what they say, but we see what yes, they're doing. Yes, and and yes. I say over and over and over, God gives us examples, not excuses. Amen. He gives us examples. They are the most amazing people of God that I've ever met in my life. And when I say that, I say that because their word, they're doers of the word. They speak the word. They teach the word. They do the word. Amen. They don't play with the word. They don't second guess the word. There is no confusion in their word. They walk the walk. Amen. And they talk the talk. Amen. Uh, before I go any further with that part, my turning point family here in High Springs, you know, we have confessions that we do with. Know those again, I will say that. The labor amongst you. My family, my church family here in High Springs. It's about love. It is it's all about God. It is not, not this is about us, but it's about God. God, they, they put God first and foremost. They, they, they love God. And when you love God, you love his people. They have stuck by me through thick and through thin. They have dedicated their lives to me, to, to, to God, let me fix that. They have dedicated their lives to the ministry, to the work of God. When they didn't want to come, they came. When they was tired, they came. When it was work that needed to be done, we didn't have to call on another church. We called on one another, and God blessed us to do the work, amen. He gave us everything that we needed to make sure what he was doing was going to happen, amen. I love my church family. I love them. I love them. If we can have more people united in the word of God and in the love of God, we can all do some things, amen. We can do some things. We can 
change some things. Amen. We can change some things. I, I, I want as of uh, this this week when I look back. Turning Point Christian Fellowship in High Springs can celebrate their one year anniversary. Amen. Our one year anniversary for everybody that said that we couldn't do it. God said yes. For everybody said that we wasn't going to make it. God said I'm going to send you where everybody said that I doubt that she not called. That they can't do this and they can't do that. You're not God. Amen. You're not God. We said yes and God said yeah. Amen. Amen. He made a way out of no way. He made a way out of no way. See? Oh, hallelujah. The fruit always speaks for itself. Always speak for itself. I got to preach a word, but, but, but I can't help. I can't help it but to say this. We will be celebrating our one year anniversary. And I will be giving information as, as, as it gets closer and closer. But I need y'all to know about this ministry here. I need you to know. Hallelujah. When we confess the word of God, God is faithful and just to make sure his promises manifest. When you, when, when you run after God and when you chase after God, I'm talking about seeking the source, not the stuff, but the source. Amen. When you seek the source, he makes a way when you trust the source. I say a bit of advice on this day. Trust the Lord and lean not to your own understanding, but acknowledge him in all your ways and he will direct your path. Amen. I, I will when this, when this ministry, the prophecy came and, and it said, well, you're going to be a pastor. You're going to preach. And I'm like, no, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. I, I'm not going to do that. I, I don't feel like I, I can handle that right there. That, that's just not for me. You know what I'm saying? God said, yes. Let me tell you one thing. I said, yes. And I told God, I said, I will start the ministry from my house if necessary. That's what I said. Because see, I'm willing to try God. I'm willing to step out on faith. I'm willing to believe that he knows who I am because he predestined me. Amen. This ain't about me though. I say yes. God opens up a door. I'm going to do it out of my house. God said you don't have to. We got to bless God for the people that God put in our path to use their power, ability, and influence. Amen. To do the work of the Lord. Amen. And I I always think about the people that help pay the path, the people that say yes to God to make sure God's will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Amen. I, I, one, of, one of our members, Latoya, she had a connection. She had the hookup. Amen. And, and, and her aunt said, well, you can come to my house. You can come to my house. And she had she had called the promise and ministries. Amen. I got to give a testimony. Say, the promise and ministries is if you don't get to the turning point, you won't know about the, the, the promise saying you got to be willing to make a change in order to have the things of God, amen. We we, we get to the promised land. And I asked her, I said, well, how much do we owe you? And, and how much do we pay every month? She said, all I need you to do is show up and tell me what God won't do, amen. We we, we there. We started the ministry back last year in May, amen. We we, we started that ministry. We, we did what God said. We, we didn't worry about what we did have or what we didn't have. We used what we had. We glorified God with what we had. It wasn't about who cared or who didn't care. It was about what God said. It was about what he was doing, amen. That door closed. That door closed after months. See, God got to make sure you're really going to be obedient. He got to make sure you're really going to show up and you really go do what he said to. When I say go, I need you to go. And when I say say, I need you to say, say, say what I say, amen, because that's what Jesus said. I say what my father said, say, amen. Sisters, oh, that door closed. My pride. Had to die. Because you know what? That, that wasn't nothing but the enemy trying to discourage me. The enemy trying to get me to stop what God started. But you know what? It's a lie. There is no unbelief in my heart. There is no unbelief in my spirit. Because I believe that whatever God started, God going to finish that thing right there. And with that door closed, I came home. And, and, and I told my church members, I said, you know what? We going to rock off. We going to keep on going. We not going to stop. Made a phone call. On that next day, amen. And it was a place called the Garland County Library. Let me tell you about that place right there. We, we're not supposed to have church there. It's, it's against our rules and regulations. Man, say we can't have church over there. We can have a church meeting, amen, but we can't have a church service. Talk to me about what God won't do. God will break the rules for his people, amen. amen. He'll 
he'll break the rules so that whatever he got going on, it's going to happen. You see what I'm saying? Yes. We go over there. We having church. Amen. We having church. And you think the enemy wasn't getting mad. They knew he was getting more and more mad. But I'm going to keep on going. My church family go keep on going. And my church family make sure I put out they push me to make sure I kept on going. We had one another back and we still do. Amen. I'm not just talking about my high spring family. I'm talking about my Atlanta family as, as well. Amen. They kept on going. Kept on pushing. Kept on going. We, we standing as one. No those that labor amongst you. They, have, they got a heart after God's heart. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And when they got a, a heart after God's heart, we can do some stuff. Because nothing is impossible with God. Talk to me about that this morning. Nothing is impossible with God. You understand? We get to that live church service. Things get to stir it up. Stir it up. The enemy mad. Y'all ain't sure we had no church service over here at this library. This ain't for church. Okay? It's all good. The first service that we had at Garland County Library was in December last year. And I can remember. Mm -hmm. I can remember telling the church family, the next time we move, we're going to be in our own building. I mean, that, 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 that was in the first service in December at Garland County Library. Lo and behold, uh -huh, when the door closed, look at here, when the door closed, we walked into our own sanctuary, amen. God gave, God started it, God kept it going. We get in this house and it's few, few, few of us with what we got in our leadership. Our pastors, Benny and Jackie McKinney, our pastors, Benny and Jackie McKinney, are on our side every step of the way. Do you understand what I'm saying? I see it. I can't help it but to let you know. When God do it, God do it. He do it. I'm going to see what y'all going to do with what I got. Now I gave y'all a place to worship. Now what you going to do? We took our little bit and we remodeled the whole place. Amen. Our pastors, Benny and Jackie McKinney, drove down here from Atlanta, coming to help us to put the house together. Amen. Coming to see what the Lord has done in house grace because you know they know that when you're faithful, you're fruitful. Amen. And if you're not faithful, you can't be fruitful, but they're faithful. You see what I'm saying? We repaint it. We, we used every little resource that we had. And we didn't even spend a thousand dollars to get in the building. Amen. We didn't spend a thousand dollars, and that's including the rent and the deposit. See, I'm, I'm talking to you about people of God. When you after God, God moves and He has His yes, being in you. Because yes. prosperity yes. is everywhere, amen. Yes. And when you're seeking the source instead of seeking stuff, God make a way out of no way for you, amen. He shows up on you and He shows out. Pastor, Pastor McKinney and them, they rise up with chairs for the sanctuary. We didn't have to pay for the chairs. You understand what I'm saying? They ride up because God put them in touch with somebody else that was faithful to his word. And they know how to be blessed. Amen. Let me say that. They know what it is to be blessed. Amen. You give and it shall be given. Press down, shake it together and run it over. Amen. And run it over. See, I, I can testify both this day because I know that God is a good God. Yeah. And I know that his word can't fail. And I know that he going to do what he, what he said he going to do. Amen. They ride up to to the, to the church with some chairs. We don't pay for the chairs. We we go ahead and, and the women of God get together. And when the women of God get together, we can do some stuff. Amen. We can do some stuff. So we paint it. We paint it. We paint it. We design. We hung. We nailed. We laughed. We cried. We was dirty. We had a ball cleaning up God's house. We had a ball putting this house together. Amen. What am I saying? We had a little Bluetooth. Look, Bluetooth that we I hook my music up to, to YouTube and we, we sing and we praise God through the Bluetooth, amen. Amen. See, ain't nobody mad but the devil. See, you can't stop me. I can say it ain't about what you don't have. It's about what God has made sure you have, amen. You use with the little that he got. Amen. And then he blesses it with more. Thank you, Father. He blesses it with more. He blesses it. Prosperity is everywhere and the fruit shall speak for itself, amen. The fruit shall speak for itself. It's what I said up on this up on this hour. We get this house set up, like I said, with our little Bluetooth and we have a little karaoke box with the microphone. See, I'm, I, I'm not ashamed of the gospel. That's not I'm not ashamed. I need you to know that, that, that if you're faithful over a little bit, hello, he makes you faithful over a lot. Yes, you see will. what I'm saying? Look, we have it. Our church, we have a church. 
We have a good time. We do what God say do. What does they do? We already thinking in terms, you know, this is a nice house and you know we got it together and you know God is here and it's all good. I get a phone call. See the, the, the chairs that, 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 that I passed in there about them metal chairs. See what I'm saying? Them folk and metal chairs. I bought pillows from home. My pillows are how about throw pillows from home to put in the seat. See, I gotta get a testimony to put in the seat to make sure the chairs wouldn't get too hard for the people that came to visit the sanctuary. You see what I'm saying? Ain't no shame in my game. I'm not a shame of a gospel baby. We did what we did. Yes, and I get a phone call. A phone call. One more time for my pastor in Atlanta telling me God has blessed you with chairs full of cushions. God has blessed you to get rid of the, the, the Bluetooth baby and gave us some speakers that stand on seats. You see these speakers behind me? I know you got to see them. Just in case you can't, let me make sure you understand what I'm talking about, amen. Can you see this? We got both of them. We, now we got a screen or a protective screen. We got the equalizer. We got everything we need in this house, amen, to make it more of a home for God, to make it more of a blessing from God. So what am I trying to tell you this morning when you look around in this place? We, we've got chairs, we've got tables, we've got everything. We're happy to have it. We're happy that God is in everything. We're happy that his, his, his move, his move, we're happy with his people. We're happy with what he has given us. We're happy that God is a good God, that God is a faithful God. We're happy this morning that Benny and Jackie McKinney are faithful to the word and they don't mind moving. When God say move and they call for a sacrifice, they sacrifice. They don't mind. They don't mind. We didn't have to go to everybody in the church and say, well, we need your money for this and we need to raise money for that. Turning one Christian fellowship in high school didn't need no building fund. We had God, so we didn't need no co-signer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We didn't need no co-signer, baby. We got God. You see what I'm saying? Benny and Jackie McKinney drove over the highway to deliver. Yes. To deliver. Yes, the is. chairs and the speakers and the equipment to praise everything. They drove. God put them in, in, in position. And they said yes. When I think about it last week, my answer was just say yes. Man. My word to God was just say yes. The word to the people was just say yes. Amen. Just say yes. They said yes. We said yes. My thing today, when you decree and declare a thing in God, it shall be done on earth as it is in heaven. Yes, it and it is something about the name of Jesus. When you trust in Jesus and when you don't worry about what men can or cannot do or what they say or don't say, but when you put all your trust and your hope in Jesus, amen, he can do some things for yes, you. He, he can do some things. He made a witness house out of nowhere. I decree and declare in Jesus' name. Prosperity. When I'm looking at the body of Christ, I got a problem with that. I'm not going to be before you too much no longer, but I'm going to tell you something. I got a problem with the body of Christ because, see, I understand that the world is waiting for the children of God. Come on, to stand on, up and to take on, notice and to be seen. Yes. The world is waiting to see what the Lord is doing in his body of Christ. Yes. And when you come to turn upon Christian fellowship, I know for a fact that his word is real. Well, we have one in the church, amen. Yes. Kim and tithes and offerings faithfully. Didn't have a job, but when she came into the house and she gave her life to God, Gave everything. She trusted in him. She obeyed in him. She submitted to him. God blessed her with a job and paid the good money in me. Yes. Paid the good money in me. We had one that needed her own place to live. What did God do? He opened up the door and he gave it to her. See, when you're faithful with God, God is faithful with you. Yes. I, I'm trying to tell you what I know for a fact. When you decree and declare, when you trust in God, when you lean not to your own understanding, when you go through what you go through. It's all for a reason. It's all for the good. You understand what I'm saying? It's all for the good. And like I said, a, a problem with the body of Christ when I say that um, the world is waiting for the, people, the children of God to stand up and take their place. It's time out for the identity crisis. It's time out for, for the youth saying one thing and doing something else. It's time out. See, he gives you fruit. Because the fruit bears witness. Amen. So who you serving and what you doing and who you seeking? You see what I'm saying? The body of Christ has got a Spirit on them called unbelief. And that spirit, uh-huh, that spirit is a strong spirit. And the only reason 
It's strong. It's because the body of Christ is even now about having that spirit. Amen. You don't want to fully own up to the fact that, oh, oh, I got some unbelief here and I need to repent and I need to ask God to heal my unbelief. See, I'm going to tell you something. The fruit bears witness when you double minded, when you're not following the words of God, when you're not doing what he said. He said, you say my word and you do my word. He said, when you follow my commands, go with me right quick. Go with me right quick. Because, see, uh, it's a lot of folks in the body of Christ crying. It's a lot of people in the body of Christ that's been here long enough and ain't got nothing to show for it. But a bunch of tears. One week and one month, you in it. And one week and one month, you praise praising God. And the next week and the next month, you ain't got it. You're doing without it. You're mad and you're upset. And you want to blame God. I told you last week, the problem is not God. The problem is not his power and spirit. The problem is not his word. It's your unbelief, amen. It's your unbelief and it's your immaturity in Christ because I said on last week as well. When I was a child, I thought like a child. I did like a child. I reasoned about like a child. I played with kids' toys. But once I became grown, I put that mess away. I put that mess away and started to walk in the things of God in maturity. You see what I'm saying? And it's one thing that I also know about the past. It's going to show you what works and what don't work. That's right. It's going to always show you what works and what don't work. You're going to always know who to hit and who to tell. Just turn with me to Deuteronomy chapter 28. Hallelujah. 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 I say God is a good God, y'all. Deuteronomy chapter 28. We're going to read uh, verses 13 and 14. And 15, amen. 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 Like amen. I said, the past will show you what works and what don't work. You cannot ask God for things and, and expect God to do it when you don't want to follow his word. When you go the course, you stay the course. You stay in your life. You understand what I'm saying? You stop trying to pass up everybody else that's on the dog on the highway, trying to beat them because sometimes all you got to do is be still and know that God is amen, God. And, and he gives you the increase of where you are. You don't worry about who is or who ain't. You don't worry about who got more than you or who don't have more than you. You worry about God. Amen. You put your focus and your mind and your heart on God. You follow the commands of God. You do what God says do at all times. Amen. It don't matter how it looks. It don't matter how long it takes. God is faithful and just. Every promise that he made to us, he is able to do it and he's waiting on us. Our stuff is in the spirit realm. Amen. Can we read? Can we read? And I'm reading to you from the living God. If you will only listen. Everybody say listen. Listen. And obey. Say obey. Obey. The commandments of the Lord your God that I am giving you today. He will make you the head. Say head. The head. What did I say? He will make you the head and not the tail. And you shall always have the upper hand. But each of these blessings depends on your not turning aside in the way from the laws. I have given you, and you must never, ever worship other gods. And if you won't listen to the Lord your God, and you won't obey these laws, I am giving you today, then these curses shall be cut, shall come upon your life. When I go back and I look at this, if you will only listen and obey, follow the command. And in, a, in another interpretation, it says that you will decree and declare. On earth as it is in heaven, these things that you shall have. You shall have whatever you ask. Don't ask in doubt. Believe that you can have it. Believe that you can have it. I don't understand why it is that we still want to play patty cake with the word of God. Because the word of God is true and just. I keep saying that. We ask it for things that we're not receiving because the fruit bears witness to what we got going on. Amen. The fruit bears witness is too many people turning away from God. It's too many people getting out confused and caught up in the moment and getting caught up in the flesh. Not believe it. You believe God for a little bit, but you won't believe it for the increase. Turn it one God's increase up on this house today. Amen. You got to believe it for the big things, honey. It's not just the little things. It's not just the little things. He gives us power. And, and the biggest part about this power is, it's like I said, it's in your mouth. We can have prophets from all over the world. We can have all of the, the elders from the church that come and prophesy to one and lay hands on another, amen, for your healing, for your blessings, for this, that, and the other. But if you don't decree and don't declare it about your own mouth, baby, you got a long way to hear you. That's right. See, because it is, it's one thing for the prophet and the pastor and the preacher and the sisters and the brothers of Christ to know that God has put that in your heart. He's promised to heal you. He's promised to give you our spiritual blessings as well as the things of the natural, amen. It's one thing for us to know that, but it's something else. We got to be 
be willing to participate in this thing. He ain't going to do it all by himself. We got to do our part. If he said you got to decree it and declare it out your mouth, you got to decree it and declare it out your mouth. If you want it, you going to do it again. You going to do it. You can lay hands on yourself and stop waiting on everybody else to lay hands on yourself and stop having pity parties, amen, because it's not about a pity party. God is a healer. We ain't got no business having pity party. If we sick, we can preach and prophesy over our own self, amen. That's right. Amen. The word of God is the word of God, and it is written. God cannot lie. And if he said it, that sounds to they then. I said a while ago, we don't need no co-sign. We don't need no co-sign. You see what I'm saying? We don't need no co-sign. I, 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 I told uh, my armor bearer on Wednesday night, I said, girl, I went to Hobby Lobby. I said, when I went to Hobby Lobby, God spoke in my spirit a little bit at Hobby Lobby. See, the, the, this thing about when I walked into Hobby Lobby, I didn't even get in the door, and I seen harvest. And Halloween and Thanksgiving stuff all over the walls, shelves, and everything already been cleaned out, stocked with the next season of life. Amen. See, they know from experience. Cause like I told you all ago, the past always lets you know what work and what don't work. And see, they didn't just have harvest stuff; they had Christmas stuff. And what am I saying with that? They were prepared for the season. See, they knew last year and the year before last, and the year before that. If they put the stuff out there early. And the season comes, they ain't got to worry about being left out because they done already prepared for the season. So that means that they're steadfast. They're continuing to confess those things that are not as though they were. They know the money is coming in the house. And if I put it, if I'm consistent with what I'm doing and I put it out there early, I can get my stuff sold and I can make my money. My house can increase real quick. I ain't got to give up. I don't wait till the season. See, the problem is the body of Christ will wait until the season comes to decide that we want to quit or we want to give up or we want to ask God if you're steadfast, if you're consistent, if you're continuing to decree and declare, to confess, to stand on the word and the promises of God. You ain't got to worry about when the season comes come, because it's already stored up for you. It's already stored up for you. See, God done already put things in position for the body of Christ to get. He's already did that. He's already did that. But because of our unbelief, I can't believe this. All the things and the promises that God made for us are, are, are ours. Are ours for the taking. And all we got to do is speak his word and confess his word. Claim that thing. Claim it because he said it is yours. If you ask in my name, you will get it. But you must believe and not doubt. You must believe and not doubt. When you doubt, and toss to and fro. The harder it gets, the less I trust God. All the things of God, people in the body spend so much time talking to other people about the things of God and not going to the one that predestined us. Not going to the one that created us, that called us into life. Not going to the one, not spending enough time in, in studying and speaking and declaring because I'm telling you, God spoke. He spoke. He spoke the world into existence. He spoke us into existence. He predestined everything that is there for us and he's never ever seen the righteous for saying. And it's a big bread. We have a problem because we are not doing, we, we don't have the fruit. The fruit is not following. God said, you shall be my witnesses. Fruit bears witness. Fruit bears witness. Fruit bears witness. There is something else that's keeping us from getting to our wealthy place. It's the things that we are housing in our spirit as well. Uh, unforgiveness. Some of us got some unforgiveness in our hearts and in our spirits that we didn't have for 45 years, amen. I'm 56. I'm 56. I, I, I held on to some. I held on to some. And I could not reap my bountiful blessing from God because. I held on to something that God said, well, I can't forgive you if you don't forgive them. Right. And see, the, the best part about that is when, when you learn and when you know who God is, he said, pray for your enemies. He said, forgive them. Jesus said, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. This is what he said that we need to, we need to mature. Mature in who we are in God. Mature in our identity. Amen. Of Christ. Mature in the word and the things of God. The joy and the peace is all wrapped up in the word. It's all wrapped up in your faith. It's all wrapped up in your belief system. It's all wrapped up. And it's written. And it's written. It's written. And it's not that we can't have what God said we can have. Because like I said, he 
got it, Precast. We were born to be blessed, to have joy, to have peace, to be healed and whole. We were joined. We were ble- uh, excuse me, blessed from birth. We were blessed before birth. Because God said, I know the thoughts and the place that I have for you. To prosper you. For you to be in good health. For you to have everything that you need is what God said. So it's no reason in the world, really, that we should be doing without. It's no reason in the world that we should not be joyful on a day-to-day basis. That we can't wake up thinking my hallelujah belongs to you because you have done a great and a mighty thing in my life. You have brought me a mighty long way. You have blessed me with everything that I asked for. No matter what it was, no matter how hard it was, no matter what, you did this, God. You did this. You did this. You made a way out of no way. You didn't have to, but you did. But you did. the fruit bears witness. When we begin really to get deep in up, He's deep in us. The, the deep house deep. That maturity. Grow up to go up. Grow up in the things of God. Let go of the things of the flesh that so easily beset you. And we can be the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. We can have the fruit of our labor. It's stored up and waiting on us. And if you can believe for a fact that, like I say, inconsistency. No matter what happens, no matter how I wake up feeling today, I can have bad migraines every day of my life. But if I wake up confessing that word over the migraine and over my life, and I tell myself what God said, I'm preaching and prophesying to myself, and I'm laying hands on myself, I don't have to pick up the phone and call nobody and say, girl, you need to pray for me or you need to come lay hands on me. I got the word of God. Amen. Be strong in the Lord. And in the power of his life, be strong in his word, amen. And in the power of his word, in his spirit, because it's not by might, not by power, but by his spirit. If we can utilize the things of the spirit, the people of the world ain't got to wait until the children of God arise because they're going to already know, amen. They're going to already know because the fruit, I'm going to say that again, bears witness. The fruit bears witness, amen. I don't care. I don't care. About not, not, nothing that is in opposition with God. And what we think, that mind and that attitude has a whole lot to do with our future, with our past, our attitude, our mindset, the way we thought, the way we spoke, uh huh, the way we speak gives volumes to who we believe. Again, I'm saying that. It gives volume to how mature we are in whatever it is that we try to mature in. And it needs to take time. It needs to be in Christ. It needs to be in Christ. It needs to be in Christ. I will encourage you. But I, but I also expect you to do what you are supposed to do. God says if you follow my commands and if you do what I say do, then you shall have whatever you ask in my name. The fruit always bears witness. Amen. The fruit bears witness that we have our, our, our season of grace. Where we mess up and we fall and where we give up and where we turn flip flop to whatever the situation may be. But then there's that, that, that grace for maturity. That grace for maturity where we got to get up and go up. We got to pull away the childish things and grab a hold to the things of God that will take us in life where no man can take us. That will do for us in life what no man or no nothing can do. Makes a way out of no way. He did that. He promised that, and I received that upon this day. And I pray to God that that everybody that's listening to this word, hallelujah, will understand that whatever you ask in the name of Jesus, believe it, not doubting, not being double-minded, but casting down every vain imagination that puts itself up against the knowledge of Christ and put it into subjection. Under the word of Christ, submit yourself to God. Resist the enemy. And he ain't got no choice but to flip. So you run on in the word of God. Amen. You run on in the word of God. You open up your mouth and you speak those things that are not as though they were and receive the things that God said you can receive. And don't sit back and whine and cry about what you don't have or what somebody will or won't do. Or none of that. God is the answer. And you know what? His fruit bears witness. Amen. His fruit bears witness. Amen. On this day, I thank you. And I look so forward. To seeing y'all in this house. 
I look forward to it. I look forward to it. You need to come and be a part of what God is doing because like I said, the fruit bears witness and we got the evidence. So we're going to continue to stand on the word of God. Continue to run it and do what he said we can do. Amen. I thank you for each and every one of y'all for tuning in. Like I said, and I thank you for everybody that is here. To God be the glory for this blessed day. To God be the glory. Amen. Amen and amen and amen. Amen.